I'm right now here at the Clapham Common Park and behind me is the Van Stand. It's been recently refurbished. We're gonna look around, we're gonna to talk to locals and find out what makes Clapham Common a great place to live. So follow me, come on. You'll find the Holy Trinity Church with a long history in which the Clapham sect was known to worship. It has its own cinema, it has the Omnibus Theatre, Saturday Market, Ben Street Market. According to this mural, famous people have lived here or they still live here. Vivian Westwood, fashion designer. Even Benjamin Franklin lived here. He was an inventor, a writer named Angela Carter, Samuel Pepys. The vibe, you know, it's just like, it's London, but the new version is cool. It's like the best place in London if you're 20 to 32. That's the cutoff. Common, I guess the park itself, the common itself. Uh, it's a pretty neighborhood, architecture. Uh, I like, it's friendly. If you've got a dog, people stop and talk to you. Um, it's um, other people around here, they look out for each other. Like, East End in the old days, like crazed. <laughs> Thank you. So very nice much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank appreciate you, it. Yeah. Clapham Park. This is literally the heart of Clapham. You know, you've got the park, you've got um, the basketball court on the other side, you've got the skateboarding park on the other side. So many hobbies, so many activities to do. Um, obviously, you've got good bars around the corner as well. Good place to sit, eat, good restaurants, and um, good nightlife as well. What was it? Our house. <laughs> For me, I felt uh, since moving 24 hours away from home, uh, this is a little piece of home. They call it Little Australia around here. If you've moved here by yourself, which I have, you find community, uh, friends, you know, people chilling out on the picnic. Uh, if you want, you know, the party life as well, Clapham High Street just up there has Infernos. Any Australians and New Zealanders watching this, they'll know exactly what Infernos is. Um, and just the laid back attitude that Australians, Kiwis, and South Africans have is embodied here in Clapham Common. But you've got a lot of green space. The other good thing about Clapham, if you go down to Clapham High Road, you've got all the nightclubs, the bars, the restaurants, and trust me, it wasn't always like that. You'd have to go back to about 15 years ago, these things were not popping up, but now it's become like an attractive area for young people. So you're getting a lot of students, a lot of people that are not really from Clapham, they're not even from London. They've come into London now, they like the feel of the area, they're studying, they're going to uni. So what Clapham was like before, like 15 years ago, it was like, if you're, if you're out and you're partying and you're 21 to 40, yeah, you fit in. But now the changes are, you've got to be about 18. Once you get to 30, you're like, okay, let's go down to Brixton now, which is just away from Clapham. Because you want to be in a bar, you don't want to be on that dance floor with a little 19 to 20 year old. But don't get me wrong, man, it's, it, this is a beautiful, I would say a beautiful place to be, but I think it's lost this community, yeah? What I just mentioned about people coming in to the area, it changes the community. So the, 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 the sad thing about it, yeah, this is the sad thing about it. You've got people that have been in the community of Clapham that are kind of elderly now. And they are the ones that stay. So you get the old and the vulnerable. The old and the vulnerable stay in the community. They don't leave the community. So therefore things are moving around them all the time and they become disenfranchised. They come a bit isolated away from the community. So what I'm trying to say is fractures in the community. Now you have a lot of, um, how can I put it in, um, English people that have come from the countryside, have moved in, and a lot of the urban and the, and the culture people, they've moved out. Well, it has excellent sort of atmosphere. The people in this road are very pleasant, very nice. We had an excellent street party yesterday. Everybody's very friendly. And um, from my point of view, they're not too posh, not too up themselves. And um, it's, it's a lively area. There are wonderful shops here too, and specialist shops. It's gentrified. Uh, which means even though it's expensive, you don't have the sort of like risks of violence or crime that you might get in a lower socioeconomic area. But because of that, there's trade-offs. So there's less obvious culture, there's less, less of a working class presence. But, I mean, on the high street, there's a, there's a strong LGBT counterculture, which makes it fun. And of course, there's plenty to do. There's salsa Friday nights, 
there's different different night spots. I mean, yeah, it's diverse. It's Can diverse. It's expensive. It's expensive, and it's probably going to get more expensive. But I mean, more places in London aren't expensive and have stuff to do. They're rare, so. I think the Clapham gives it a focal point of open space at the middle of quite an urban area and surrounding it you've got a really good mix of communities, you know, uh, you've got a lot of people with money who've moved into the area now but you've still got the basis of people who've lived here for quite a long time. Is it a safe area? I think it's reasonably safe, as safe as anywhere is in London, I mean I've got to say I've had no trouble. You see on local posts, people are having their Range Rovers nicked and everything, but hey, they've got Range Rovers. <laughs> uh, I don't know, obviously like anywhere in an urban centre you get cases, but I think on, in, the, in the main, like everywhere, you keep your eyes about you and it's a pretty nice place. It's easy to commute from the central London. Good. In the sense that you've got Northern Line, you've got buses. Now the Northern Line is not the most beautiful of lines. It's noisy, it's old and it tends to be packed. But if you can do it outside the rush hour, but you know, if you can get on the bike or something, you can make it in, in half an hour or something. Thank you. And in general, do you find it I think it's reasonably friendly in the sense that money that has come into the area changes that a little in the sense that I don't generalise too much, but people with slightly more money tend to keep themselves to themselves a bit more, so you don't have the richness of a closer community that maybe hangs out a little bit more together, just on the streets a little bit more, but it's a nice place.